Good morning, Slater Youth, Slater Youth families. Hope you're doing well wherever you are, whenever you're watching this video. So one of my favorite guitar players in the entire world is a guy named Nuno Betancourt. I was absolutely obsessed with Nuno when I was a kid. My very first really nice electric guitar was a Nuno Betancourt signature model. Now, Nuno Betancourt was in this band called Extreme, which you might know from the song More Than Words. More than words. But he was also an excellent, excellent electric guitar player. He could do everything. He could do the speed. He could do the funky stuff. He could do the heavy stuff. So I was surprised to hear the story that once Nuno had the chance to meet Eddie Van Halen. Well, if you don't know who Eddie Van Halen is, educate yourself, because he's one of the best guitar players who's ever lived. Amazing guitar player. And Nuno got the chance to go play Eddie's guitar, Eddie's gear, and Eddie's studio. And he talks about that he plugged in with Eddie's guitar and started playing. And he was disappointed because he just sounded like himself and didn't sound like Eddie. Now that seemed really weird to me as somebody who thought that Nuno was the greatest thing ever. And why would he be disappointed to sound as good as he does and not sound like Eddie Van Halen? Well, I learned a little bit of something through this story is that we often look to others as being better than us, as having something that we don't have, something that we need, whether it's some sort of success or some sort of skill or they go to a better church than us, or they have a better family than us, or their youth group so much better than ours. We're always looking at what someone else is doing. And in today's story in 1 Samuel 8, this is exactly what the Israelites are doing. They want to be like the nations around them who have a king. You see, at this point, Samuel had been the judge of Israel, kind of a ruler at this point, and he wanted his sons to be rulers after him. Now, he tried his sons out in the leadership positions, and they didn't do very well. They were corrupt and terrible and not very good at their jobs. And so the people of Israel didn't want that. They wanted a king instead. And Samuel gets upset about this. Why do the people want a king? And he asks God about it. And God says, don't be mad. They're not rejecting you. They're rejecting me. I should be their king. But instead, they're choosing a human king. You see, in this case, the Israelites... They don't want what Samuel can offer. They don't want what God can offer. They want their own king, their own visible present sign of rulership, someone who can lead them along the way they need to go. And what does that matter to us today? Well, we're at the time in our lives where there's a lot of people giving us advice about where we should go and what we should do. And it's really easy to lose focus on what God has told us that we should be doing. It's ironic that Israel's asking for a king now because God had already told them previously that once they were in the land and it was settled, they could have a king. But instead, they want a king now before the land is settled because they feel like that will give them the stability they need instead of looking to God. We do that sometimes. We look to a particular leader or a particular style of worship or a charismatic person we know or a friend or a confidant or a parent, somebody that we think will give us everything that we need, all the instructions we need, when really all that we need is God. So the simple message is this. We don't have to have what others have, the relationships they have, the family they have, the talents, the skills, abilities that they have to serve God. We just have to bring ourselves and be willing to follow, be willing to go where God asks us to go, be willing to use our talents in the ways that God asks us to do, and then we will find contentment and happiness and joy and peace and all of the things that we seek by seeking to follow others. Because the grass isn't always greener on the other side because this whole thing with kings did not turn out good for Israel. And when we try to do what others do and be what others are, it doesn't always turn out the best for us either. It's okay to be inspired by people, but ultimately we only follow God and that's who we should pursue. So I pray that you will seek the scriptures, pray, seek ways that you can follow God more closely without the distractions of what others are doing, because honestly, it doesn't really matter what others do. 
because we are ourselves and God has a unique place and role and gifts and talents he's given us to use to bring love and light into the world. Hope this word found you blessed. We will talk to you soon. You are loved. Bye.